Michelle, manager of Solid Waste. Illegal dumps are reported to our customer service number by citizen. My name is Alan Ashurst. I'm an illegal dumping investigator for the city of Kansas City, Missouri. Um, it's illegal is not just a clever name. It, it is illegal to take anything that's, you know, meant to be disposed of and put it out on the street. So we're, we're out here at these locations trying to figure out uh, if there's anything clues-wise, evidence-wise, that's going to lead us to uh, whoever would be responsible for, for illegal dumping. Illegal dump sites contain a, a plethora of things, anything from, from appliances such as stoves, refrigerators, uh, and, and stereos for that matter, to yard waste, uh, trees, grass, dirt. Well, we're going to investigate illegal dumping through a number of ways. People can report it to us via the 311 action hotline, via the phone, internet, email. We have a 513 dump, which is a hotline for people that have actually witnessed illegal dumping. And then we have surveillance cameras that are placed around at illegal dump sites citywide. Any one of those things are, are, are ways to get a hold of us and ways that we use to uh, find evidence. We go through trash looking for evidence, anything with an address. Um, license plates come up on surveillance cams or eyewitnesses any number of ways that we can anything and everything really that's going to lead us to somebody that's responsible for an illegal dump uh, household hazardous waste such as paints uh, aerosol containers and those things uh, there's, there's roofing materials there's going to be drywall there could be uh, anything you can think of furniture you know nothing is Nothing is exempt from being illegally dumped and disposed of. When I'm called out onto a case, I'm going to have to find enough evidence to take somebody to court, first and foremost. Um, the city ordinance says I need three pieces of something, three pieces of evidence that's going to lead me to a perpetrator. With three pieces of evidence, I can take them to court. Here in Kansas City, we have a multitude of options to dispose of your waste. It doesn't have to resort to illegally dumping it because the majority of this will collect from your curb. If citizens and people like would place their stuff out to the curbs, then we can collect it there in a more efficient and costly manner. But the overall bottom line is it's somebody that just doesn't care. Last person I spoke to about this particular location said, well, there's no sign. And I said, sir, do you really need a sign to tell you you can't throw your garbage out on the side of the road? I think that the kind of person that's going to throw something like this out in somebody's neighborhood deserves a big fat fine. We want people to take advantage of these services and these programs. We have the Leave and Brush program, we have a waste tire drop off program, we have a household hazardous waste program, we even have clean sweeps and a dumpster program. Um, I believe what we're doing is working. Our, our fines are high. In the six years I've been doing this and the 850 tickets that I've written, I've had five people reoffend. 